The Faradite Motion Sensor 360 range of motion sensors are perfectly suited for use on Loxon smart home systems. In this video, we will look at how to integrate and configure both versions of the Faradite Motion Sensor 360, the Volt Free Motion Sensor, and the 0 to 10 volt motion and brightness sensor. First, let's look at how to wire the Faradite Motion Sensor 360 Volt Free into the Loxon system. The motion-only volt-free version can be connected to Loxon systems in several ways. For tree-wired systems, the Loxon Nano DI tree devices allow us to connect the motion sensor to one of the six available digital inputs. We recommend taking 24 volt DC from the orange and white terminals on the Nano DI to power the sensor. For wireless Loxon Air installations, we recommend using the Nano IO Air device to provide the 24 volts DC power to the motion sensor. The motion sensor output can be connected to one of the six inputs available on the Nano IO Air device. You can connect up to six motion sensor 360 volt free sensors to a single Nano IO Air or Nano DI tree device. For a star-wired system, we recommend powering the motion sensor from a 24-volt DC DIN rail mounted power supply. Use any available digital input on the mini server or extensions for the motion sensor input. Now we have the motion sensors wired to the system, we can look at how to commission the sensors in Loxon config. Start by finding the input from the periphery tree where the motion sensor is connected. If connected to a Nano DI tree device, find the correct Nano DI tree device, select the input number on that device to which you connected the motion sensor and name the input. The motion sensor is now ready to be used in config for your desired functionality. If the motion sensor was wired to a Nano IO, first learn in the Nano IO device to the airbase then, find the device in the periphery tree under the airbase. Next, find the input to which the motion sensor was connected and name the input. This input can now be used in config. For motion sensors that are wired to the digital inputs on the mini server or extensions, find the inputs in the periphery tree and name them. These can now be dragged into your config and used to trigger motion-based events. When using the Faradite Motion Sensor 360 0 to 10 volt version, a digital input and an analog input is required to provide both motion and brightness sensing. Power the sensor with 24 volts DC power and use one core of the CAT cable to connect the M terminal to a digital input on the mini server or extension and use a separate core to connect the L terminal to an analog input on the mini server or extension. To use the motion sensor 0 to 10 volt version, the motion detection is configured as with the volt free sensor, but we also need to commission the 0 to 10 volt analog input. First, name the analog input, then adjust the correction values for the input. Adjust the target value 2 value to become 1000. This means a 10 volt reading equates to 1000 lux. We can now label this analog input and drag it onto our page and use it to provide the brightness value for the room. The Faradite Motion Sensor 360 Volt Free and 0 to 10 provide an impressive range of detection for such a tiny sensor. Head to our blog to see some specific applications that can be achieved in Loxon with the Faradite Motion Sensor 360 range. Faradite Smart Home Accessories